Now that I have defeated the Pokemon League and publicly shamed Nimona, it is time to go where I've been told several times not to go. That's right, Area Zero. Inside the crater filled with dangerous Pokemon. I meet up with Arvin and he decided to call my psycho neighbor Nimona and the criminal, Penny, to join us on this adventure. Arvin's dad, Professor Turo, is talking to us with wireless communication devices. He tells us to journey on Maridan's back to enter into the crater, which sounds incredibly unsafe, even in the universe of Pokemon. Arvin mounts Maridon like he forgot that he gave it to me to be its new owner. I'm the last one to join the group, and I'm left hanging in the air while they smile like my life is not in danger. I'm not sure if anyone else noticed this, but I definitely got Mystery Gang vibes from this scenario. With me being Shaggy, Maridon being Scooby, Arvin being Fred, Nimona being Daphne, and Penny being Velma. Arvin uses his Goku-like strength to put me in the front to stare. Dude must have been hitting the gym to be able to do something like that while we're flying in the air. When we land, Maridon becomes scared from its memories here. It decides to go back in its Pokeball like a coward despite being fed several Herba Mystica. While we are in Area Zero, we have to unlock the main gate at the bottom by pressing a button at four research stations. When we reach the final gate at the bottom, the professor fills us in on more information about the technology he's been using. We see another Maridon after the gate opens, and it's more aggressive than my Maridon. We are then attacked by these powerful new Pokemon that came out from the gates. We work together as a team to take them down. When I finally make it through the gate, I realize that Arvin's dad is not only dead, but may have actually been borderline insane while alive. Before I can shut down the time machine, I'm forced to fight the android created by Professor Turo because it has been designed to fight anyone who wants to shut down the time machine. So I end up battling this android and I'm confronted by some of the most overpowered Pokemon I've probably ever come across in the main story of a Pokemon game. Go and check their base stats if you don't believe me. When I'm eventually able to overcome the android, it decides to go full Terminator mode and try to kill some kids. Needless to say, I don't blame Arvin for not feeling sad that his dad was dead. His dad may have actually been a monster to have put this kill mode programming in an android. Our only remaining option left is to have Maridon fight to save our lives. To my shock and horror, my Maridon is top tier hot garbage in comparison to the other Maridon. The only reason we actually win is because of being able to terrestrialize and him being cheered on for an attack power boost. Once we defeat the other Maridon, the android deactivates its kill mode and tells us that it needs to leave like Trunks from Dragon Ball Z. The time machine deactivates after Professor Turo's android exits through it. We are then left to walk the long journey back home. Some sappy ending, you know the deal. Yeah. And that's how the journey ends. The journey does not end with a giant trophy. It does not end with my name on a plaque. It ends with us walking back home after almost dying. Yes, that is the ending. That that's that's the actual ending of the of the game. Yes, that's how it ends. All right, thank you guys for watching and you guys have a great day.